Tesla is in trouble. And you will not believe what Musk's next step is going to be. Either you have interest in geopolitics or you are a Tesla stock investor. This video is going to be very helpful for you. According to a recent report, around 50 to 70 environmental activists have been camping in the forest near Berlin since early Thursday with an initiative called Stop Tesla against Tesla's plan to expand ground for new manufacturing plant. Trouble seems to have become synonymous with Tesla. There are very few car makers that have been the center of controversy as often as the Elon Musk led Tesla. In a recent development, it has come to light that German activists are staging a protest against Tesla in Germany. The protest is being led by a group which call itself Robin Wood. The group points to the dense population of trees in the area where Tesla plans to expand its facility, while also pointing out that the area is also a water protection site. Activists said that they plan to occupy the forest near the factory for a week. A spokeswoman from the Stop Tesla initiative said that the longer the occupation lasts, the better it would be. German news agency DPA reported on Friday that police have decided the demonstration can continue until at least March 15th in the Pine Forest and are keeping an eye on what is going on, but see no need to break up the protest camp. So hello viewers, welcome back to our channel GeoKit, your daily guide to geopolitical affairs. If you are new to the channel and enjoy learning about fast-paced modernity, especially about the geopolitical positions of countries and personalities in the international race, you will find our videos intriguing. In this video, we will discuss why activists occupied German forest to block Tesla's expansion, why locals vote against factory expansion, and what's the reaction of police on all this. Watch the video until the end to know further. So without any delay, let's get started. Tesla has a problem in the Germany. This is not the first time Tesla has had to face wrath of locals in Germany. The US electric vehicle giant has just one manufacturing facility in all of Europe, just outside of Berlin. Tesla wants to expand its factory in Grunheide, southeast of the capital, by 170 hectares and boost production up to 1 million vehicles annually. Initially, at the time of construction of the facility in March 2022, there were massive protests from locals who said that Tesla plant would be a burden on natural resources in the area. Some even accused the company of stealing out water. However, Tesla was able to go ahead with 740-acre plant, which has been in operation since 2022, and rolls out Tesla Model Y electric vehicles. And now Tesla wants to expand Gruenheide plant and its production facility in Germany by 420 acres, with the primary aim of increasing its output from here. But a majority of locals here are opposing any such move, with environmental groups joining in to highlight the high number of trees that would need to be chopped down for the expansion to take place. And this initiative urged other supporters to visit the camp and bring additional materials like wood, saws, climbing gear, and hammocks. A walk through the forest in protest of Tesla and a piano concert in the forest are also planned for Saturday afternoon. Local reports highlight that many of the residents in the vicinity of the facility have now started building temporary homes on the trees, and they have built around a dozen tree houses several meters above ground in the area to prevent Tesla crew from cutting these down. And they are saying that they are against any green signal which would allow the company to expand the facility that would come at the cost of hundreds of trees in the area while politicians, unions, and industry groups have welcomed the move, saying it will bring huge number of jobs to the region, which would eventually benefit local communities. But environmental concerns drove hundreds of locals to the streets on Saturday. And it's not about the land only. A spokesperson from the environmental group, Robin Wood, said that local people here are having their drinking water stolen from the whole region, and where the raw materials for cars come from, people face exploitation. Before we move on to discussing what the response of Tesla and Elon Musk on all this was, I'd like to hear from you. Are you finding this video informative? Feel free to share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. And if you're finding it helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. Your support means a lot to us and helps us create more content that you'll love. Let's continue this journey together. Organizers also said they were backing local residents who voted more than 60% against the Tesla project in a recent non-binding poll. Tesla's Grunheide factory opened in 2022 after an arduous two-year approval and construction process dogged by administrative and legal obstacles. The original plant's massive demand for water was a sore point for residents in an area that has been hit by summer droughts in recent years. A local campaigner, Manu Hoyer, who has been active in the opposition to the Tesla plant since 2019, said that there will be no end of deforestation here, 
because this is just the beginning. This forest is largely in a drinking water protection area, and for me, it is a no-go. If the entire infrastructure is to go here, then thousands of hectares of forest will have to be felled so that it can somehow be managed. And the Gruenheide plant, which is now a focal point in Germany's automotive landscape, is currently employing around 12,500 people. Moreover, the clash between Tesla's expansion plans and environmental concerns highlights the ongoing struggle between industrial growth and ecological preservation. Police said they see no reason to dismantle the camp in the forest, adding that they are monitoring events there. The protest in the Pine Forest can continue until March 15th. A police spokesperson told on Thursday, the 29th of February, that an extension is possible, and the police are also preparing for long-term protests. Besides all these issues over environment, land, and water, in the Pine Forest and votes against Tesla, it announced further talks on the issue. Hearing this, a spokesperson who is being supported by Local Citizens Initiative said that we are open to the dialogue, but we will never be forced out of the forest. After that, Tesla has not yet commented on the protest camp near the factory. Apart from all this news, if we see Elon Musk's thoughts on the environment, he always considers himself an environmentalist and added that it is important that in the long run industries reduce the billions of tons of carbon they take from the earth and release into the atmosphere by burning fossil fuels. Do you think that Tesla would shift its focus from Germany to somewhere else for uninterrupted production? Or will it continue to expand its territory for meeting their production requirement? What will the comments of Tesla on this? Constructive or destructive? Let us know your opinions in the comments section and don't forget to share the video and like and click on the subscribe button as well for remaining updated of the current trends in this fast-paced modern world. Until the next video, stay tuned.